Lesson 11.1c, Comparing Dot Plots Numerically. We can compare the shape, center, and spread of two dot plots numerically by calculating values related to the center and spread. Remember that outliers, those are data values that are far away from the others, can affect our calculations. We have a 4, 10, 12, and 14. What we do is we find 4 plus 10 plus 12 plus 14, and we divide it by 4. That's going to give us 10 for our average, our mean. If we didn't have the outlier, well, then the mean would be 12. It would be the number between 10 and 14. So the outlier can affect our calculations. And remember, to find the median, that's the middle number, we list the numbers from least to greatest and find the middle number. If there's an even amount of numbers listed, there will be two middle numbers for which we will need to find the mean or average of those two numbers. So 7 plus 8 is 15, and we use two numbers, we divide it by 2, that's going to give us a median of 7 and 5 tenths. Here it's telling us to numerically compare the dot plots of the scores 10 students received on a history test to a math test. For the shapes, history, well, most of the scores are below 90. And for math, most of the scores are above 80. For the center, we find the medians. We list the values from least to greatest and find the center value. 80 is the median for history. For math, the median is 90. For the spread, history has a range from 70 to 100, and for math, the range is 60 to 100. We have an outlier here, don't we? For history, we found the center by listing the values from least to greatest. We found that there were two middle values, so we found the average, the mean of those two values, which is 80. And our spread went from 70 to 100. For math, our center was found by listing all the values from least to greatest, and the outlier, 60, didn't affect the median, which is 90. The spread is from 60 to 100. The outlier did affect the spread. The spread is the least to greatest data values. The range is the difference of the least to greatest values. An outlier will affect the range because it can be far less or far greater than the other data values. The median only depends on the amount of data values, so it's not affected by the outlier. So here we have hours studying. We can see there's one for one. We have three dots on two, two dots on three, and we have an outlier of six. We can compare the spread with the outlier and without the outlier. With the outlier, we go from one to six, Without it, we go from 1 to 3. We can see the outlier affected the spread. For the range, with the outlier, we go 6 minus 1. We use the 1 to 6 and find the difference. So that would be a range of 5. Without the outlier, we have a range of 2. So the outlier will affect the range. But look at the median. With the outlier, our median is 2, and without the outlier, our median is 2. The median wasn't affected by the outlier. If one of the data values is 0, it's important to include it for the mean and median. Here we have a dot plot, and we can see there's a 0 included. For the mean, we include the 0 that means we need to add 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus 4 plus 5. And then we're going to divide it by 10 because there's 10 numbers, 10 add-ins. We get 26 divided by 10, so our mean is 2 and 6 tenths. If we exclude the 0, if we don't count it, we're still going to get 26. But now, because there's one less add-end, we're going to be dividing it by 9. That's going to give us a mean of 2 and 8 tenths, approximately, because this 8 continues. Remember, when you see a bar over it, that means the 8 is going to continue on. 
For the median, if we include the zero, we get the two middle numbers of two and three, which when we find the average, we get two and five tenths. If we exclude the zero, we have one less digit, and now the median is three. So it's very important if there's a data value that's a zero that you need to include it to be accurate. For the mean, by excluding zero, we divided by one less digit, which made the quotient greater. And for the median, by removing the zero, we shifted the median one digit to the right. We can find the median by counting the dots. We can count an equal number of dots on this side, on the left, and on the right. We have nine dots on this side and nine dots on this side. Well, then six is the median. This dot plot has a peak at four and at nine. Now, this dot plot has a peak at eight. And the median is seven, even though we don't see a seven listed here. It skipped counting by twos. We know that's seven. We have six dots on this side, and we have six dots on this side. The median is seven. We're finished with 11.1. .1. We're going to be moving on to 11.2, which is about box plots. Have a wonderful day, and join me for the next lesson. Bye.